several special events going this time around in the form of cosmic comets, so, or I should say prankster comets, so let's go to Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons. Whee! Um, later on, there is a purple coin uh, challenge that you will not like to do. It is one of the most annoying ones in the game. You will not like it at all. Anyway, these are the nuts from um, Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh yeah, we're really rocking now. This is awesome. They're giant. Do you see those things? That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, you know these things? You gotta change the color of them to yellow. Just saying. And uh, if you want to progress and avoid those little baby chomps, oh, they're so cute. They make little barking noises. Oh, and they also hit you pretty good. Um, uh, plan your path out so you don't accidentally hit, ah, hit the same switch twice. And I'm just playing like a moron here. Spin over this chomp, there we go. These chomps are not hard at all to avoid, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And... There we go! <laughs> Whee! Look at the chomps disappear, the baby chomps. And yeah, they come out of these little baby dog houses here. And that allows you to advance forward. Uh, don't fall off of here. I really don't recommend you fall off here, because, you know, there's just, there's just a little bitty black hole over there that you might fall in. Just saying. Just, I just thought I'd point that out to you. Kill these guys when they shoot their coconuts. Yeah! Oh no. No, no, no falling off. No falling off at this point. I refuse to die. Alright, hey, no, turny, turny. This way. And long jump for the win. And all you need to do is jump past this bomb and get to the launch star to get to the next area. And this part right here is kind of tricky. Just warning you, yeah, there's star, star bits along the walls, collect those, oh yeah. Now you gotta avoid these lasers on this platform while avoiding cannonballs. This doesn't seem that bad, but uh, later on it gets kind of tricky, especially, especially during the purple point challenge. When you get to here, jump to the next platform, because that mine just blew up the platform and is dying, so... You don't want to go down with the ship. I recommend that you stay with, you know, the, the safer platforms. It's a recommendation. Uh, you can get a whole lot of star bits there. And if you want to, but otherwise, if you don't want to, don't have to. And move on ahead. Avoid those guys. Don't get squished by the thought form. Long jump or normal jump over here. It's up to you. And got some cannonball pokeballs here, or whatever the heck they are, and, uh, uh, oh boy, no, 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 don't blow things up, don't blow things up, and jump to this one, now we're sideways, here's where things get really awkward, um, you're not used to being sideways, I can guarantee that, so this may take a little bit of practice to get used to the angles and stuff like that, and now you're upside down, this is a lot easier than sideways for some reason, um, I guess because it's still um, lateral angles, you know, it's still sideways. Um, activate this platform. You're going to need it. Yeah, that platform up there is... Oh my god, that side almost died! Yeah, if you get hit by a cannonball too close to the edge, you fall to your doom. Dang it! Dang it. Be right back. Because I have to do this whole run again. Uh, oh wait, maybe I don't have to do the whole run again. Um, actually, where am I? Oh, no, I'm, I'm pretty close by, so I don't have to cut forward. Ah, ah I get hit, got hit by the lasers. Oh, no, 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 explody, explody. Okay, I'm safe now. And now you got Captain Laser over there, lasering it up. Uh, see, this is why it's hard for me to call those things that Bowser shoots out in his boss battle shockwaves. Because these guys right here, they shoot lasers. It, it doesn't seem like a shockwave. Anyway, jump on that guy and get the star. It's all yours, baby. Woo! And the Dreadnought Galaxy continues with Revenge of the Top Man Child. Yes, the tops have returned. No! Actually, the top enemies are like the easiest enemies in the world to beat. Well, well, you really don't beat them. They just knock you around and stuff like that. But yeah, jump on this guy here. Boingy, boingy, ow! Actually, I didn't hurt at all, but use the slingstar to get over here. Starbits! Starbits! 
and lead that guy over to these electrofi electrified fields. I think you know what's coming next. Just spin right at him to knock him into the electrical field, like so. Yeah, you gotta lead him into it, and yes, I will get you out of there, little star. Don't you worry about it. And go, baby! Aww. Ah, GoDaddy.com. Oh, shoot. No! Don't say that. Okay. Let's go. There we go. Now that, that thing opens up, and he'll turn into a nice, delightful launch star. Shortcut for me, baby. Technically, this isn't a shortcut, because this is the only way to go through the levels, so I don't know what the heck he's talking about. His little star bits attached to the very tippy tops of those things, are those little antenna thingies. Anyway, ground pound that, some blue things will appear. Um, you're going to need this green guy over here. Jump on him to get this one, and ground pound out of that. And here's number three, here's number four, and jump up number five, like that. And I don't know why I got number five, or I should say why I didn't get number five first, but whatever. And... There we go! Pull, pull star your way over to there. Uh, in order to let yourself drift like that, you just have to let go of the button uh, as you're drifting along there. Anyway, this is a pull star area. Grab onto a pull star. And be very wary about how you pull yourself. If you get hit by a bomb, it's... Oh, no, 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 Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, there's a star mushroom there. Oh, I didn't know that that was there. I was going to say, if you get hit by a bomb, it's hard to recover. Because you have to re-grab yourself onto a star. Um, where's that? There it is! You have to re-grab yourself onto a launch star, which usually causes you to chain, chain kill yourself into those bombs, or fall into the Great Abyss down below. So, yeah, be very careful about that. Um, as you can see, there's a slight delay uh, with how you move between the launch stars. So be careful with that. Uh, you gotta time yourself to get between those things. Now here's the drift. Here's the drift technique. Excuse me. <clears throat> Grab onto it. Let go here. Drift and right into the launch star. If you missed that, you would have died. Yeah, you would have died. It's awesome. Um, see those white lines? Those indicate how far the lasers go on these on this platform here. Um, so you can take the safe route and just go in between those lasers. Or you can just shortcut through the whole dang thing and collect star bits. Yes! Oh, yes, baby. And you can also blow up these treasure chests for, uh, delightful treats. Um, oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Um, there's ev evidently another star mushroom there. Don't get shocked. Don't get shocked. And fly up through the air with the launch star. And we're at the area where the Top Man Tribe is. Or I should say the main area of the Top Man Tribe. Double jump over this thing. Avoid those electric, electrified things. Go up to the boss area. And you recommend... I mean, you recognize this boss area, don't you? Yeah. You're going down, baby! It's a, it's a little harder this time because they got those moving things. Uh, I mean, the electricity is moving now. So it's... It's, I guess, a little bit harder, but it's still not hard enough to make this boss a worthy boss. You know, make it hard enough to, at least a boss this late in the game. I mean, seriously. Um, jump. There you go. And yeah, you can even jump off to an angle like that. Won't be any problem whatsoever. And that's it. Yeah, you can even jump right on top of the spikes for some reason, and he'll still retract the spikes just as if you hit that button on the top. I have no idea why he does that. Well, anyway, collect your star, and that's about it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.